this. This sends you in, off on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And for me, actually, my recurrence was not the emotional roller coaster that the first time was. Hmm. It was like I needed some answers to questions. I notice you have an iPhone. I do. What do you expect to happen when you open up this app, or what do you expect to see or be able to do? Well, it sounds to me like through just reading this that what I would be able to do would be to put in what I know about my diagnosis so far. So we've got a, a sample breast cancer pathology report mm -hmm. that I'm going to ask you to sort of role play with sure. and sort of pretend is you for kind of privacy reasons and also to try to helps us too to okay. have everybody kind of working from the same materials. So that is our little test app here. Okay. Um, and what I'd like to do is use the app and the sample pathology report and go ahead and see if you can determine what type of breast cancer you would have if this was your actual pathology report. So this doesn't exactly follow what's on here. I mean, you have to kind of go back and forth to figure out. But I can't imagine how you could ever put together a website that did match because different labs probably format them differently. Because this looks, right. this is a little different format than, than the reports that I got. Nurse practitioner told me that I had stage three, and what she really meant to say was grade three. Okay, but I don't quite see what happens once I choose that. I don't really want to clear it, but I don't know where to go from there. Okay, I'm stuck. Grade three. I'm not sure I know the answer to that. That's not the same as stage. So I did um, my results positive. It didn't tell me like yes, no, maybe go. Huh? I don't know. I I don't know what this is over here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yes, I do. Okay. So, you know what is a little bit confusing about this is that some of these things you've already entered because you've been through other mm -hmm. pages, some of them you haven't. I didn't know anything, I didn't know enough to ask the question. Right. Do you feel like, let's imagine for a moment, you, you're transported back in time and you had downloaded this app and you were kind of scrolling through as you have just now, might it have spurred you to ask a question mm -hmm. like that? I think all these things would spur me to ask questions like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that I would have worked through them exactly in order. Yeah. And so I would have gotten to it a little later. <laughs> yep. But, um, you know, if you knew enough or if you knew somebody else that had a certain circumstance, you'd be more likely to go to the things that you knew about, I suppose. But mm -hmm. that wasn't something I knew much about. And then that could be a question for the doctor. It's like, well, why? If you just got this from your doctor, this is exactly what you'd be doing is kind of going back and forth. You'd be looking at this and going, oh, here it is. I mean, honestly, even being this far out, I would probably download that just to have it yeah. for reference.